Hi, I'm Jonathan, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of a simple marketing message. Hi, thanks for joining me today as we talk more about marketing tips and things that can help you market your business better. Today, I want to talk about a common misconception that I hear, and it's a combination of sales and marketing, but it boils down to this. Should I provide my client with every possible bit of information that they might need to make a decision? Or should I focus on giving them a marketing message and or a sales pitch that includes why our product and service solves their problem and keep it simple without worrying about hitting every possible question they may have? Well, it's a good question. And today I'm gonna to share my perspective on that after my years of sales and marketing experience. My position is really simple. When it comes time to sell your customer, you need to focus on the pains and the problems that your solution is going to fix for them. Why? Well, every customer has different needs. Every customer has different issues they're looking to solve. But if we can point out to that prospect or that customer how it is that your product, your solution, your service is going to meet their needs, then we can get their attention and hopefully we can get them to make a decision. So real quick story here about a customer I just spoke with, great friend of mine, wonderful customer, and he has an opportunity with a national chain to reach out and sell a host of his products. This would be a great sales opportunity, not only for just the demo units that he would be able to place in each of the stores for this national client, but also in the fact that this national client could literally sell thousands of his products for him across the United States. A wonderful opportunity. So there's interest. The next step, though, is that they need to make a presentation to the board of directors in order to get this project kicked off. And we just had a great discussion. And that question centered around this exact topic. Do we need to answer every possible question that the board's going to have? Or do we focus on hitting the primary reasons that it is that this retailer wants to sell this product? And how this product is both going to benefit their customers as well as the retailer? And then make that presentation to the board in a simplified format. Well, my recommendation was let's keep it simple. You may have heard the acronym for KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Well, nobody's stupid, not in this equation, but it is important that we keep it simple. So my recommendation to you, when you're putting together your marketing messages, as you're working with your sales team and figuring out how to consolidate your messages, how to what type of information needs to be put in place, remember to focus on keeping it simple. In this case, with my friend, we're focused on creating a brand new version of the website. There already is a website. We're going to totally redo it, and we're going to be focused on a sales page that messaging, the marketing messaging, relates directly to the board of directors that's looking to make this decision for this retailer. We know what their concerns are. We know what pain points they have, and we know how to address that. So instead of focusing on every possible scenario and every possible thing that this particular tool can do, we're gonna focus on the board, their concerns, and how it's going to make their life better by improving the business at this retailer. It's as simple as that. So my recommendation, keep it simple. Make your message resonate with your customer and focus on those aspects versus risking losing your customer by painting, as we call it, too many seagulls in the picture by bringing in extraneous information that they don't need to make a decision. As you go today, keep your messages simple and on target. Make it a great day.